Hi everyone! So, on today's video, we'll talk about anxiety. So, first of all, we'll see how anxiety occurs. So, what is the pathophysiology, what are the neurotransmitters involved, and basically what are the different types of anxiety, as well as signs and symptoms. Let's jump into it! So, we are going to talk about anxiety, and there are many anxiety disorders. So, in order to understand the full and whole picture, it's very good that we distinguish between these disorders. So, there is like general anxiety disorder, there is panic disorder, there is social anxiety disorder, there is post-traumatic stress disorder, there is obsessive compulsive disorder. So, in order to fully understand anxiety, it's really important to look into its pathophysiology. So, in a very simplistic and brief way, so there are three minor arousal systems. There is the general arousal system, there is the emotional arousal system, and there is the endocrine arousal system. So, physiologically, these arousal systems, all together, they can activate physical responses. So, they can activate increased muscle tone, increased sympathetic activity, and also uh, increased release of certain hormones. The resulting symptoms, such as palpitations, tremors, sweating, they can all together initiate a vicious cycle that generates more anxiety. And there are also many neurotransmitters implicated in this arousal system. So, first of all, acetylcholine is known to be the main neurotransmitter associated with the general arousal system. And this general arousal system is basically important to link between the cortex, where the income stimuli arrives, and also the somatic and cortical response. Then we've got the serotonergic and noradrenergic pathways. They are more linked with the emotional arousal system. This emotional arousal system is more responsible for the emotional response of anxiety, such as fear. And finally, we've got a very, very important neurotransmitter, which is GABA. And as many of you may know, GABA is the inhibitory neurotransmitter. And GABA is known to be really important in states where we've got excessive anxiety. It does provide some protective effects against excessive arousal reactions. So, drugs that increase the GABA activity, they are known to have a potent anxiolytic effect, such as, for example, benzodiazepine. Let's start by talking about the common symptoms to all the anxiety disorders. So they are fear and worry, they are sleep disturbances, they are concentration problems, they are dry mouth, palpitations, gastrointestinal discomfort and also shortness of breath. Then really quickly what are like the characteristics of these different anxiety disorders. So starting by with generalized anxiety disorder, there is normally like a persistent uh, distress that appears almost every day for at least six months and they are not linked to any specific situation. Then in panic disorder we've got like severe surges of anxiety and distress that are also known as panic attacks. Then in obsessive compulsive disorder the patients will suffer from persistent thoughts or impulses where they just take loads of their time and they do need to do it in a repetitive way so they feel like some purpose is being achieved. And when it comes to social anxiety disorder there is a marked and unreasonable fear of getting embarrassed or humiliated by any social activities. Then we've got post-traumatic stress disorder in which this can occur after being exposed to a traumatic event which involved possible death or severe injury and this can appear within six months of the traumatic event. Finally, we should take into account that anxiety can be induced by central stimulants such as caffeine, amphetamines, 
also by withdrawal of the presence of the central nervous system, such as alcohol, hypnotics, anxiolytics, and also by disturbances in the metabolic or endocrine system. So, if you like this video, just make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and now that we've seen all the pathophysiology, signs, symptoms, and different types of anxiety, now we are ready to go into the treatment. So, stay tuned for the next video. See you soon!